Hello, this is Lord of Yum Yum, and today we will be reviewing the Logitech G300S optical mouse and the Logitech G402 Hyperion Fury gaming mouse. Now these are both in the lineup of Logitech's G, G series, rather, uh, gaming mouse collection, and are both rather good mice. The entry level G300S comes with optical sensors. It's pretty standard, pretty, pretty basic. Omnidextrous, that's for right and left handed people. So you can grab either way. As opposed to the Hyperion's Furies G402, which is more of a right handed grip. So if you're a uh, left-handed star, you guys, so this is more right-handed, right-hand comfort, I should say. And it has nice little buttons and widgets. Sorry, bad lighting, bad lighting. Can't really see, but two buttons there, a side button and another side button. Scroll wheel. Now, I don't know if this one goes right or left for side scrolling. It doesn't feel like it. Um, this one doesn't. Now what's cool about these mice is there's the downloadable software for them and you can change things like you know DPI settings. This one goes uh, 250 at a time. And you can set custom DPI settings through the onboard mouse memory or you can do CPU memory settings. There's things like LED lighting. So you could change the lights. Let's do uh, neon green. That's pretty cool. So there you go. You got the LED light there. And what else is cool about this is you have three settings. And then when you change a setting, you can you have a, a light, corresponding light that changes with that. So that's pretty cool. And you could set the lights to different things. And there's modes such as DPI, oh, right here. So you can uh, change things. This is DPI cycling mode, um, DPI shift mode. So you hold the shift to a custom DPI setting. And this is control X, it's a different mode altogether. So you can change some modes around. And pretty much the same thing goes for the Hyperion G402. So basically the G300S is an entry level gaming mouse. Um, LED lighting, nothing too crazy. It's got four buttons on the top here. And then mode switcher. DPI switcher, that's how it looks like. And then you got the Hyperion Fury G402, which is more of an FPS, first person shooter mouse. And there's the um, Logitech 502 series, which is like a tunable surface interface. So this is an optical, they're pretty much all optical mice, but the G502 looks like this, but it has customized weight settings that you could put in. And it's just way more customizable to your service, but I heard there's some issues, but they're going to be fixed as far as adjusting and calibrating to your surface. Um, both of these regular wired, wired cords, as opposed to the older Logitech G5, which is kind of a corded, flexible one, so it doesn't get in the way, it's more durable. Uh, this has custom weight settings, the G5 does, which is an older gaming mouse, cannot buy it anymore. So you customize the weight cartridge and put it in. So the G502 is much like that, but a different setup. It looks like this and the weights are kind of octagonal in, um, in quarters. So pretty cool. Um, I'm going to try this Hyperion Fury out and then... Um, I already tried the G300S, it's not bad. I'm gonna try the Fury out. Um, 
I just don't like the Omni Dextrous. I much rather prefer the right-handed Comfort. And then I'm going to jump up to a G502 and make a video about that. So there you have it, guys. Um, these three mice. Oh, and one other thing I should mention is this G lights up. If you plug it in, just a sec here. So there you have it, pretty cool. The G lights up and glows. Um, you can customize that to whatever you want. You can adjust it. Um, so this has the DPI settings as well. You can change the lighting, the brightness, the breathing, turn off the breathing effect. So it's pretty cool. And you can have your DP DPI setting lighting always on. So now it's always on. So this is your DPI settings. And this is, these are some other functions. I, I much rather, or I much prefer this mouse to um, this omnidextrous mouse. This is just kind of like a laptop mobile mouse, I feel. It's very bare bones basic, but this is more of a badass bad boy. But there you have it, um, Lord of Yum Yum. Stay tuned for G502 review.